So here you are asked to factorize 63a square minus 112b square. By seeing this a square and b square and also minus, you may think that ma'am we can apply a square minus b square. Yes, you are correct. But before that you need to do some adjustment because 63 and 100 and 12 are not perfect square so can you find out a number by which 63 and 112 are divisible yes we know 7 9 is a 63 and we know 7 16 is a 112 so in both the numbers 7 is common so let us take 7 common first so if we take 7 common from this first term then we will be left with 9 because 7 9 is a 63 and a square as it is minus we know 7 16 is a 112 so in place of 112 we can write 16 and we have b square so write as it is now if you see this particular expression then you will find that here 9 is a perfect square and 16 is also a perfect square now we can apply the identity that is a square minus b square so let us apply 9 can be written as 3 square and a we have so we can write it as 3 a the whole square 3 3 is a 9 and a square is a square and here we have 16 so 16 means 4 square 4 4 is a 16 and we have b so 4 b the whole square can we write it like this yes now we are going to apply the identity that is a square minus b square equal to a plus b a minus b so if we compare with this identity that is a square minus b square in place of a we can see we have 3a because 3a the whole square we have so a is 3a and here in place of b we have 4b because we have 4b the whole square over here so here 4b is b now we have 7 in common so write 7 as it is and we can write this as a plus b a minus b but here a is 3a and b is 3b so let us write a plus b multiplied by a minus b but a is 3a so 3a plus b is 4b so write 4b once again you need to write a minus b so a is 3a minus 4b so this is our final answer